Oh, I'm coming, Grandma. Oh, not again. Grandma, your glasses are always on your nose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, dear contest chair, do you still remember the time with the grandma? And do you have a grandma like mine? Last summer, my grandma moved to my home to get through the hot summer. But that's also when my hot summer gets started. <laughs> You see, as a senior person, she always had a very stable timetable, especially around the table. But the problem is, she always wanted you to follow it, like, Danny boy, dinner's ready. Oh. Just a minute, Grandma. Hurry, the dishes are getting cold. <laughs> oh, yes, they will, because it's summer. <laughs> oh, bad boy. So, I have to start my work, and after I finish dinner, I thought I could change channels and watch my favorite TV show. But I was wrong. Don't change channels, Danny boy. The weather report is on. <laughs> oh, the weather report, huh? That's easy. Grandma, you know, I can show you on my cell phone for the whole week. <laughs> Because there is no CCTV in it. <laughs> See, it's almost impossible for us to communicate. But this is an end. Because I remember once I slept really late to 5 a.m. <laughs> Don't what? Yeah, I'm doing nothing. But then I heard something out of my room. So I went outside. It was my grandma just getting up. And I was about to greet her. But there she was, in great anger, crying out loud, Oh, Danny boy, bad boy, go to bed to sleep right now, or I will tell your father. And that's when my patience totally disappeared. Oh, Grandma, I'm a grown up now. I know what to do. Just stay away from my life. And besides, don't call me Danny boy again. I slammed the door, I went inside, I was very angry. About 10 minutes later, my grandma came in. Of course, we didn't talk. But she put a bottle of hot noodles on my desk. And there I was. Oh, I want to eat. Yeah, I can tell ya, I ate all the noodles, and that's the most unforgettable noodles I ever had. At the end of the summer, she left, and almost forgot her until one day I heard from my father that she was in the hospital, and without a thought, I heard the hospital and saw her lying in bed, weak, pale-faced, and unbearably quiet. Oh, what had just happened? What if my grandma left me? and never, ever back in my life. And back into reality, the sad truth is, most people don't realize the value of the elder or family until it is too late. And how can we change it? In fact, this love within our family members can be very simple. It can't be as simple as the bowl of noodles my grandma cooked for me. Unforgettable. Though, I really wish
the bowel could be bigger. Or it can also be as simple as a short text message saying, Dinner's ready. We're waiting for you. How sweet! Though it's a big relief that my grandma don't know how to use this thing. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take actions. Start from the little things. And that makes Love. Well, don't get me wrong. For example, let me ask you a question first. Uh, what day is it today? No, 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 no. Today is Grandma's Day. <laughs> mother, mother. Huh? And on this special day, the little thing we can do is to give our mother a beautiful present card and two for our grandmas. Or, we can simply share more time with our family members and watch television, the weather report together, CCTV, huh? Or, wait a minute, it seems that before asking people to do something, I should do it first. And back into reality, my grandma was still lying in a coma. And I wish I could do anything to wake her up. And what can I do? Yes, I can do the simple thing. Grandma, Danny boy is coming. Danny boy, Danny boy. Danny boy, don't be naughty, for I will tell your father. <laughs> <laughs>